Hi, Christy in the Rady Kitchen. Today I'm going to make oven baked potato wedges. This is using Rada's new burger and fry seasoning. We just introduced this. Uh, we have some new marinades and barbecue seasonings. Um, this is great on burgers and fries. It's a mix of salt and seasonings. Um, but it's also good on chicken and pork and vegetables like I'm going to make today. So, the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 450 degrees and we're going to set our baking pan or I'm going to use the Rada stoneware bakeware um, pizza pan and we're going to put that in that hot oven to get this heated up and then we'll come back and cut up the potatoes. So what you need are three large potatoes and now we're going to cut them in half. These are some big ones. And then once you cut them in half, we're going to cut them into four quarters. And this is the Rada Stubby Butcher Knife. It's really handy to cut up large vegetables like this potato. It's really good to strip or slice um, meats. So once you have your potatoes all sliced, we're going to place them in a large bowl. And then we're going to pour three tablespoons of vegetable oil over them. And then just Lightly toss that. And now we're going to add about two teaspoons of the burger and fry seasoning. I personally just add it, mix it, see how it looks. I kind of like a lot of seasoning on mine. All right, now we're going to get that hot pan out of the oven. So I removed the baking tray from the oven and it's nice and steamy. Um, if you're using metal or other than the Rated Stoneware, you want to spray cooking spray on it. Um, the Rated Stoneware, you don't need to pre-season. And then we're just going to lay, oh, you can even hear them sizzle. We're going to lay these potato wedges in a single layer. And we're going to put them in the, back in that 450 degree oven for 15 minutes. And then we're going to turn them and bake them another 15 minutes. So our yummy oven baked potato wedges are done. And they're delicious with the new Rada burger and fry seasoning. Again, not just for burgers and fries, it's great on all kinds of dishes like poultry, pork, and vegetables.